This is Cameron Chai from azom.com and I'm speaking to Phil Harrop from Scientific Solutions and he's going to run us through a demonstration of the MISCO AMX30 Benchtop Refractometer. Thank you Cameron. Yes, I'll uh, um, just introduce the, the instrument. It has a, uh, a screen here which is in Windows CE, so it's a Windows based instrument which um, is, is current technology with all of the communications ports around the outside to uh, um, give us the uh, um, interactivity with other uh, computers etc. The instrument is a five decimal place high resolution high accuracy benchtop refractometer. Uh, at the moment we have a, a sample of water in here which is not truly pure so we're slightly away from the uh, uh, the ideal uh, refractive index for water at 1.33306 but uh, just to demonstrate um, what we do to make a measurement is just simply to hit the go button there and it will check for the temperature as to the set temperature and when it's within a range it will actually make the reading 1.33305 plus or minus one uh, digit from the, the previous answer, just to prove that it's not a, uh, um, an artefact, we can do it all again. 1.3304. We're still temperature equilibrating a little bit. This is a, uh, a sample which um, um, I just put in there, so it takes a little while to get down to the second decimal point of temperature. So we have a, a, a good reading there. To actually change samples, the measurement well, I'll just withdraw that sample out of there with a bit of tissue, that was water. And I have another sample here which I'll place in, one that I'd prepared before, with a little bit of um, sugar in it. There's uh, um, no specific concentration, this is just for the demonstration. Just put a few drops in the uh, in the sample well, close the lid, and again we just push the OK button to start the measurement, and it will look for temperature stability, and when it's within the range, will give us the reading. 1.33655. So the little bits, the few grains of sugar that we've had in here, has increased the uh, the refractive index reading to a much higher level than what we had before. It's basically what, how... What sort of industries typically use refractometers, Phil? Refractometers are used throughout a wide range of industries. Refractive index is the basic measurement um, that the, the instrument takes, but you can scale these uh, measurements to many other things. There's about 260, 270 scales you can actually use with these instruments. But typically they're used in the sugar industry for looking at um, uh, the sugar content of lots of materials. Uh, can be in uh, the wine industry, any industry where refractive index changes occur within a liquid. So particularly in the food industry where, where we're looking at um, uh, refractive index changes with the sugar level of things like uh, fruit juices, wines, uh, the sugar industry, it can go to industrial applications as well where, where dissolved salts change the refractive index of, of material. So in um, chemical engineering, refractometers are used as well uh, to, to look at um, uh, dissolved salt concentrations in some circumstances. All right, Phil, thanks very much for the explanation and Thank the demonstration Cameron. of the MISCO AMAX 30. Thanks, Cameron.